Hello, I'm going to show you a bit about Draw It to Know It and the anatomical models that are available to help you as you study for neurology. RVU's Frank Richel Ames Memorial Library has anatomical models for your use. You can see what is available by going to library.rvu.edu. Hover over the Highlighted Collections tab and click on Anatomical Models. You will see the anatomical models that are available. There are full artificial skulls, real human skulls, a median section of the head, and others that are available for your use. You can ask at the circulation desk to get whichever anatomical model you would like to use for your studies. Through the library website, you will also have access to Draw It to Know It. Hover over Databases. Click on Find Databases. In the alphabetical listing, click on the D and then Draw It to Know It. The proxy server login will pop up and you will put your username and password in. Your username is your first name, period, last name, and the password is the same as your email password. Then click login. This is the home page for Draw It to Know It. The first step is to set yourself up as a user. In the upper right corner, click on login. and then click the register button. Fill in your personal information. Leave the institution selection as Frank Rachel Ames Memorial Library. There is no group code. And uncheck the box next to Notify me if any updates or promotions, or you will be continually receiving email from Draw to Know It. Then click on Create Account. At the login screen, put in your email address and your password that you set up and log in. Neuroanatomy is the only course that is available. Click on Neuroanatomy and it will take you into the course. This is the tutorial section. If you click here, you collapse all sections. If you expand all subjects, it will show you all the subjects covered in the 23 sections. At the end of each title, there is a down arrow. If you click that, it will open that section. Click it again. It will close that section. If you click the down arrow within the subject area, it will close the subject area. If you click right on the words that are the subject title, it will bring up the quiz, all the quizzes that are included in that subject area. Or you can click Take Subject Exam to begin the exam. The first time you go into a subject, it will ask you if you want to take the pre-quiz before viewing this tutorial. You can take the quiz, and there are usually four or five or six questions that you go through and you answer, and then it will give you whether you got them right or whether you got them wrong and tell you a little bit about each question. Within each title, there are different things available. In some of them, 
There are flashcards available and you can click on that and it will show you which area has flashcards. Then you can go in and look at the flashcards that way. You can also access the flashcards by going into the glossary. And you can get the flashcards with all of the information that goes with each flashcard. No matter where you are within neuroanatomy in Draw to Know It, if you go up to the top where it says Draw to Know It, you can click there and it will take you back to the opening page. And then you can re-enter at the very beginning. The pre-quiz contains a few questions to see what you already know about this subject area. After taking the quiz or choosing no thank you, you will enter the overview area. This shows the final image and the information available about this subject area. The final image has a table to the right showing the key structures, the specific anatomy, exam findings, and it contains all of the information for what this section will be going through. This shows all the key structures that will be covered in this subject area. All areas are labeled and again we have the notes section on the right. While in the overview section, on the lower left side, you can choose final image, which is what we see here. You can also choose to watch the video. You can also choose drawing PDF, which is an, an unlabeled diagram, which you can download and print. This opens in a new window in a new tab so you can just close that when you're done downloading it and you're back here to your video. Up at the top center there's overview, tutorial, and quiz. Here you can show or hide the video Within the tutorial, you can continue watching the video. You can hide the video so you don't have that option in there. Here, you can choose blank, starter, or label background. We have blank right now. Click here. This is blank. Starter shows you an unlabeled diagram. Labeled shows you everything labeled for this section. If you click on labels on the right hand side, it will bring up all the labels that will be used on this. Here there is an eraser. You can erase something, but not what's already there. You can choose to draw if you have something you need to add. That's when if you've messed up, you can use the eraser. It will not erase the original content, but it will erase anything you added. You can choose different line thicknesses. And you can also change colors. 
and then you can erase what you added. This section allows you to clear the drawing path if you've added a lot of stuff and you want to get rid of it. There is also an undo function if you go in and write something and you want to undo it, you can do that. There are options to zoom. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can zoom, pan, or reset, or you can just reset. There is a save function, there is a load function, and if you've added notes that you want to be able to study with, you can download what you've done. If you need help, you can click on the help button. Within here, you can also choose to go to the quiz section to take the quiz for this specific area. Going back to the course, there are other options besides tutorial. In the glossary section, it contains all the terms used in this course. You can expand or collapse the subjects and then choose which flashcard you would like to look at. The question bank contains all questions used in the tutorials. They are arranged by subject and it tells you how many questions are available in each subject. In the brain atlas, this is where you will see actual scans. Some of the areas do not contain any scans, or they'll contain just one or two scans. As mentioned before, by clicking on the Draw to Know It logo in the upper left corner, you can go back to the beginning screen that takes you into the course. In the Muscle Nerve Directory, the areas are organized by anatomical regions. When you click on a specific area, you will see a diagram. There may also be pictures in this area. By using the arrow keys to the left or right of this diagram or picture, you can scroll through and see what is available. If you click back to index, it will take you back to the main page where you can choose a different nerve to look at. On the right side, there are also associated components to this nerve that you've chosen. Sometimes there's a video. There is also an app for Draw It to Know It, which you can install on your smartphone or an iPad or a tablet. Go into your app store, type in Draw It to Know It, look for the symbol and the words Draw It to Know It, download that and you log in using your username and password that you set up when you first set up your account in Draw It to Know It. Hopefully this short tutorial will help you as you study for Neural. We will be holding class times where we will be available to answer questions about Draw to Know It. You can also stop by the library and talk to Valerie or Lynn or Jason.